St. Francis Animal Hospital received special permission to allow dogs on the beach past 9 a.m. today. There's lots of tail wagging excitement as the canines and their owners run down the beach on this beautiful day. No matter what your taste in beer is, you're sure to find a new favorite here. One of the popular picks of the day is the Jack's Beer Week IPA by Intuition Brewing Company, which is a blend of malted barley and hop centennial. But my favorite is the Queen of Wheat by Three Palms Brewing Company, which is a traditional German Hefeweizen. The UNF Skate Park is flooded with talented skateboarders and their supporters. Everyone is eager to see who will become the next king of campus. Rain or shine, Jacksonville residents come out to the Riverside Arts Market held every Saturday from 10 to Four. With over 160 booths, all with their own unique items, there's something for all ages. Caitlin Byerly here with your first-hand look on how the state of tourism and the economy can affect the restaurant business. Coming up. For three and a half years, a restaurant chain called Times Grill occupied this prime corner spot. In 2011, the owner sold all four locations to Bubba Burger, who started their very first restaurant chain which only lasted 17 months. I'm Caitlin Byerly, and I'm gonna show you how the Cork Arts District in Riverside got its name when we come back. The Cork Arts District in Riverside got its name because of its location. The CO is for Corner, the R is for Russell Street, and the K is for King Street. The warehouses date back to the 1920s where they used to store tea leaves, but now it's a hot spot for local up-and-coming artists in Riverside. 